Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you're on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Let's go ahead and jump on into this thing, shall we? Oh man, it was a wonderful weekend of fights. We had Javante Tank Davis face off against Isaac Cruz on Sunday. Then on Saturday, we had Devin Haney versus Jojo Diaz. That went well. Who do you think did the best, had the best performance? Me personally, I think it was Devin Haney that had the better performance. Um, he fought a former Olympian, a former champion, and he won. He won convincingly. He won without any controversy. So I think that was the better of the two fights. Now, what this topic is about is, is that the fighters that lost this weekend, this past weekend, they are still in the hunt because the lightweight division is so stacked. Think about it. You got Jojo Diaz that just lost. You got Isaac Cruz that just lost. You got Teofimo Lopez that just lost. Now you got Loma in the hunt to get back with a belt again. And you got Ryan Garcia getting back off the couch. So, wow, you got five opponents that they could put in a nice boxing tournament for the lightweight undisputed championship of the world after Devin Haney and George Cambosis or Devin Haney versus Javante Tank Davis or a Javante Tank Davis versus George Cambosis fight. Either one of those two or three right there will solidify the other five fighters if they deserve that second shot because it should be like a title eliminator match, right? With those five opponents, man, that would do some serious, serious pay-per-view numbers. That would do some serious viewership numbers. You talking about Loma versus T.O. Part 2. You talking about uh, JoJo versus D. Uh, Ryan Garcia. You talking about uh, Isaac Cruz versus uh, Teofimo Lopez or Loma Chink or any of those guys you can mix any of those five up and have a pay-per-view mega match right now right now without Cambosis, without Devin Haney without Javante Tank Davis because they all three are the winners so all five of the losers should fight each other in a tournament you know but is Mauricio Suleiman gonna do something like that you know because you know how he float <laughs> he gonna look out for the cookout period if you bring him sanctioning fees and money and take care of your stuff hey he gonna give you that belt <laughs> he gonna make sure you get a belt some kind of belt azteca belt <laughs> something he gonna make up a belt you know w wbc gotta stop that making up all these crazy belts you know for real for real you know it was like that one time before in the past where boxers were, were getting mad at the WBC. So, you know, uh, you remember the clip Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, and all the guys throwing a green belt in the trash? I don't remember that. So, it shouldn't be like that again, you know? It should be to where, you know, these fighters got to do some kind of title eliminators, some type of gauntlet match, some type of, you know, tournament to where you can test out these fighters to see who really deserves a shot at the belt. It shouldn't be, oh, I call this guy out, I get a shot for the belt. Unless you're a champion, unless you got belts. You should not be able to call out nobody unless you got belts. If you don't have a belt, you should have to work your way up to fighting that fighter. Fight opponents that that fighter has fought, beat them better than you beat them, make an argument just like what terrence crawford did with earl spence now he made the argument that he's better than earl spence and they ain't even fought yet why is that it's because he beat sean porter faster than earl spence beat him beat him better than earl spence beat him you know a lot of people could say oh that's wear and tear on the body earl spence took a lot out of him so he won't be able to take a lot from terrence crawford that could be true but it don't negate the fact that Terrence Crawford beat Sean Porter faster than Errol Spence. You can make up all the theories you want. I don't go off theory. I go off actual fact. So, 
my actual facts show me that hey Terrence Crawford is in the leading to winning um, against him and Earl Spence you know the best switch hitter in the game you know that the only thing I give Earl Spence is, is the power the accuracy and the fundamental uh, mastership that he has over his um, his his punches, his throws. It's like he mastered how to bring pain and make somebody wilt. You know, even though he didn't do that with Sean Porter. So if he fight Terrence Crawford, he is gonna have to step up a whole nother another level, and that's for real. But uh, getting back to the lightweight division, you know, you have like I said, these five fighters. You got. Teofimo Lopez, you got Lomachenko, you got Ryan Garcia, you got uh, Jojo Diaz, and now you have Isaac Cruz. So, look, that right there alone will keep me interested in watching the fight, period. So, you know, I'm with it. If, if these uh, top rank Golden Boy and Mayweather Promotions or PBC, Al Heyman and them can get together and make this tournament of fights, that will put boxing back to its glory days again, just with the lightweight division. I ain't even talking about the heavyweight yet, because you know, the heavyweight is a whole nother conversation. But for that, you know, that's all I got for you in this video. So definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website. We got new merch up there. We drop every week. All right, y'all. Cop y'all up. Peace.